Hello everyone and welcome to part 10 of Gravel. So we're getting really close to our special episode on the Cross Country Master. But there's still one more episode that, that, that we have to do and it's the European Speed. And yeah, that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to go into episode 11 of this specific episode. And then I hope that we have enough time to do this special episode. But for now, let's go here into episode 11 and try to do some mini races. So, looks like this one, this episode should be really short. So there's only two races and one championship. So, should be fairly easy. So we're gonna go into here and begin with choosing out a speed cross vehicle. So of course, we're gonna go with the Subaru, Subaru WRX STI 2014. We might also submit, you know, maybe switch around and go with a different vehicle. But for now, let's go with the Subaru and begin this race. So, it's a very rainy day by the looks of it, and, uh, yeah, it's not really one of the most prettiest weathers, but, uh, let's go! Anyways, we still have an all-wheel drive vehicle, so this should be really fun drifting around the rain with our Subaru. That's uh, making some uh, amazing sounds, and also making that beautiful, beautiful fire that's spitting out of the exhaust. Well, let's begin with going right into the front, and just push up people in the way, why not? And okay, we're in first place. Almost. Second place. Okay, you are gonna get out of my way with your beetle. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna get I'm not trying to give hate on the on the Volkswagen Beetle, but eh, not my car, so you are gonna be out. Problem is yeah, the rain is not really helping us give grip giving us grip. It's kind of making it worse. We'll just that's, which to be it's expected. Rain is not really great, and also the terrain is also not great. Oh uh, no! Okay, whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. Rodriguez, is that footballer? Like it kind of reminds me of a of a um, what is it called? Like I know that name. It just really comes up my mind. Like every time when I hear Rodriguez or whatever his name is. That really reminds me of a footballer's name. Okay, stop. Or soccer, uh, soccer, yeah, player. Whatever you prefer, football, soccer. Okay, and from here, there's still six more people left. Actually, five. There's still, and it's still raining. It's never gonna stop. Okay, another little drift. I mean, these races are really easy. You know, if it's raining, then maybe, but uh, it's kind of easy at the moment. We haven't been really struggling a lot. Well, maybe a little <laughs> with the rain. But we're still keeping up with our position. Okay, come on. Four more people, and then we're done. And through the corner. A little bit of a drift. And now through a nice straight road or racetrack. And now just again turning, turning. Man, I love this car. Like, a lot. If I had to, like, oh my god, this car would have been such a great car as my first car. Well, I don't have a, for, like, at the moment, I'm still a little bit young to own a car. But if, if this is my car, like, wow. That would be, like, the best day of my life having this uh, as my first car. And, you know, you know, they're not really that expensive. Like, this, like the, new, the normal Subaru, like, the 2014, like, without, you know, the STI or WRX badges. Or any performance, like the normal standard ones, are kind of cheap. If you're like, you know, trying to buy them used, at least. You know, the new, the new WRXs are uh, a little bit expensive these days, like the new ones I'm talking about. But the, the older ones, like the 2014, they're still really nice. And it's uh, it's in a hatchback form. Or is it? Is it a hatchback? For me, it looks like a hatchback. And let's 
go through the last corner. Or maybe not the last one. It's, there's still like seven seconds left. Which I uh, didn't expect to happen. No, no, I don't want to get eliminated. No. Oh, wow. That was close. Okay, so that's a uh, successfully completed challenge in first place. So, uh, yeah, all these people are eliminated, and that should give us some great score. Ooh, we, we unlocked the Ford Fiesta ST. Nice. Okay, so let's proceed into our next race, and then we should have also a championship, which is also coming up really close. But, okay, let's go back into episode 11, and then we're going to race against this special guy who's really great at uh, cross-country races. But, you know... Uh, so European Speed Cross, or is it? Hang on, let me go back here. Is it Speed Cross? Oh no, European Speed. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so what is this? Uh, Smash Up. Oh, that should be. That's going to be fun. Uh, oh, we unlocked this car. Oh yes, the Ford ST. Yeah, we're gonna go with this car for sure. Uh, I'm gonna go with the standard paint job, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be nighttime, so uh, should be fun. Okay, so this is the place where it's all going to go down in the Ford Ford Fiesta ST. And I'm happy it's not an EcoBoost because uh, if you guys don't know what what is an EcoBoost uh, Ford Fiesta, it's basically a three-cylinder, one-liter engine, which are not you know <laughs> great. Well, so, actually, I have heard that somebody literally bought a Ford Fiesta EcoBoost. And they literally tuned it, and they just made it like super fast. Like it's a little, literally a little three-cylinder engine, making I think I have heard a hundred and seventy horsepower. Whoops. Okay. Yeah. You know, it doesn't sound like a lot, but before I think it had a, between. I think the normal has like sixty or seventy horsepower. I'm not really sure. Like I have heard it somewhere, but uh, yeah, these EcoBoost engines could be also really fast at the same time. So we're in first position, but that's not true. Because when we look here on the board, uh, oh, okay, <laughs> that's unexpected. So we got a first place, and wow, we got a complete a race in every different location in a basic game, or whatever I read there. But nice. So uh, there you go. So that's completed, and now the only thing to do is to go into our championship. So. Uh, Let's go into our little Ford Fiesta. I'm gonna go go ahead and drive that that car again because it's wow, it's really good. It goes really fast. Oh, it's, it is an EcoBoost. Hang on, <laughs> did it say actually EcoBoost on the on the front grill? Okay, that's a little bit weird. Yeah, if you cannot tell on on the front grill, it says EcoBoost. <laughs> what a coincidence. Uh, it's an ST, but why is it an EcoBoost? Okay, well, I'm still gonna take this vehicle. Of course I am. Um, this time, yeah, I'm gonna go with this paint job, of course. And uh, let's go and enter our championship. If you thought you were gonna have a nice, relaxing weekend, maybe you better change the channel. Today's race will leave your adrenaline racing. To our friends watching out there, welcome to Gravel Channel. Off-Road Masters is coming to Latvia's track. And believe me, it's gonna make its mark. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, so five laps in a wet, looks like a wet, uh, weather. Why does my car sound so quiet? <laughs> I'm literally wrapping the engine and it's not really doing anything. It doesn't make a single sound. That's a little bit suspicious. I'm happy that it's not an electric EcoBoost Ford. Okay, oh my god. <laughs> Such a big ma massacre. I'm pushing everybody out of the way. Okay. Yeah, it's really wet. I can, I can feel it. it. Slips around everywhere. Okay, on gravel. Well, kind of. Sort of on a kind of a dirt surface. Okay, slow down. Full on power. And oh, oh no! Whoops. There goes my score on that drift. Oh, we can actually drift around here. No problem. Look at us go. Oh, that was that was a sweet drift. And 
car goes fast. And uh, here we go. It's also sad to think that Ford isn't really anymore like a really popular company because if you guys remembered back in the day, it, like Ford was always the best company making cars like the Ford, the Ford Mustang and everything like that. But now Ford is like, I don't know, especially in my country, like Ford isn't really that popular anymore. Like back when I was a child, I remember seeing like Fords like everywhere, like, like on the parking spot, driving around basically. But now, I just see a lot of like French cars and Japanese cars. Not Japanese, but a lot of French and maybe German. Actually, there's a lot of German cars. But uh, Volkswagen, Renault, Peugeot, these are all the like really popular cars that drive around here. And uh, you know, I'm, you know, I like Peugeot and Renault. They're kind of good companies and also Citroen. Those are also uh, fine uh, car companies. but. Like the cars that are making, that are making like till till this day, like in 2019, I don't really like them. Like the thing, the the Peugeot cars, like back from back in the day, they were really amazing. Like the the Peugeot 405, like that classic looking sedan, Peugeot. That's an amazing looking. Uh, <laughs> that's an amazing looking car. You know, for some people, it just looks like a standard sedan with nothing like appealing to it. Just simple, cheap, and looks great but like if you guys if you guys haven't seen the advertisement on the Peugeot 4 or 5, 4 or 5 you guys should, should check it out it's just literally a commercial of like like this car is like passing by a, uh, a field and then er like everything is like exploding next to the car like you, you guys should really check it out it's just it's just basically called Peugeot 4 or 5 advertisement just such amazing video and that's what I and that's the thing that I like about these old cars. They have like these amazing commercials. Like from back in the day, it's just explosive and crazy. You know, commercials also in 2019 are also pretty funny. You know, some of them. Some of them are just kind of cringy. Not really funny at the same time, but uh some of them are nice, like the What was it again? Yeah, the Subaru Forester and the, the other Subaru cars. Like the what was, what was it again? I think it's the um, commercial where like the the dogs test out the the super like you know its features and all that. I think that's an amazing commercial. That's an amazing commercial. But yeah, things have to always change throughout the year. And from here, and we're almost done with this race. Wow, this race took us almost four minutes. That's a uh, that was quite a long race. I'm happy that we're done with that, and we're in first place. That's nice. We're done with that race, so this should give us some uh, some points. If you didn't faint watching this race, you're used to strong emotions. Okay, well that's great. Uh, so we got 25 points. Uh, finish the first in a speed cross event or speed cross. So, uh, uh, ooh, we unlocked a new car. Was that the two? Hang on, I saw something interesting there. I think it was a Guru B vehicle from a uh, from from a very interesting car. But uh, okay, so let's move on. At Gravel Channel, we are famous for spectacular races. However, today we are taking it back to the classics. A track, some wild drivers, and the first across the finish line takes the victory home. Friends and fans out there, we're in Italy today at the French Accorda track. Stay tuned, Off-Road Masters is about to start. In Italy. Okay, so we haven't really been in this country before. Yeah, why is my car like again quiet? Like, look at this. I'm literally revving my engine and it's not really doing anything. It's might, it might be just be a glitch. Might as well be bad, but that's an annoying glitch there. Oh, okay, I'm going this way. Are we going the, the wrong way? Oh, we are! Oh, okay. That isn't great. And why is my car invisible? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, why is my car invisible? Okay, I need to go back here. Because that's not w what's supposed to happen. Oh, no, really? Oh, no, that's really going to hurt. So now we have to, like, do this. Oh, that's annoying. So now I have to... 
I have to catch up to, to these guys somehow. Okay, this is going to be an intense race now because we failed really badly. Like, I didn't know what, which way should we, that we had to go. But now we know. Oh, that was a big jump. Too big of a jump. Okay, I'm going to be aggressive here a little bit. Oh, some nice jumps. I'm surprised that it's not damaging our suspension. Full power. Wow, somebody's name is Song. <laughs> kind of, that sounds like a Japanese name or Chinese name. Song. Song, Song Wang. Wang. <laughs> I'm not trying to put your these names. If that's your name, sorry. <laughs> The corner. Get in my white beetle. I'm coming through. Oh, that was a little bit too fast. Oh, actually, never mind. It wasn't really too fast. We got the first place. Great. Some more jumps. And here we are. Straight track. This should be fairly easy. Do some drifting. And another drift. Oh! <laughs> Don't go into the tires. Don't do that. Uh, jump! Oh! I'm gonna try to hit a, a best lap time. I'm gonna try to go for a 45 seconds if I can. It's not going to be really possible if I. Oh, uh, that happens. But maybe. No! Oh, nope, never mind for that best lap time. There's no way that we're gonna hit that. But maybe. Wow, my car is completely damaged. Wow, that shouldn't really stop us from going anywhere. Okay, so there's still two more laps to do. Or one more lap. Jump. I'm surprised that our car is not really like reacting to our damage because if we crash a car like into a wall multiple times, I bet the car won't really function that well. Well, you know, it's kind of a arcade-ish looking game, so you know, it's an arcade, arcade-ish game, so it's not really focus on damage that much. And slow down. Great job. Okay, here we are. So we have to go around the track one more time, and we're done. Beautifully. Okay, let's try to hit a be best lap time. Come on, speed up. We got 46 seconds. The corner. That's going to be much better. Maybe not. That's going to be a little bit worse. Maybe if we have some luck, we could finish in the be be best lap time. Okay, we are. And no, we didn't get a best lap time. We only got 46, 46 in a, you know. In a 46 seconds what a thing. Thrilling race. So many yes, it was. It was very thrilling because we got again in first place, which is to be expected. But okay, one more race in our championship, and then we can finally progress into our special episode, which I'm really, really interested about. Welcome to Gravel Channel to the off road fans watching out there. Whoever has been following us for a while knows that, for us at least, race rhymes with show. And today, we will show it once again. The images you are seeing are coming from the Montalegre International Track. And shortly, a new edition of Off-Road Masters will begin. Make yourselves comfortable. The show is about to start. And we're going to start right now. So, nothing to complain about. Oh, come on. Why do you sound quiet? <laughs> That's so annoying. Okay, there you go. That's a start. There begins our crazy journey. Again, five laps. Damn, these races have been only giving us five laps every time. 
Whoopsie. <laughs> Did a little cheeky maneuver. Oh, oh, that was a terrible crash. That was. That really hurt a lot. Oh, a little bit of drifting. We're, we're doing this. We're, uh, no, no, no. We're going through the wall. And slow down. The guy. Oh, we have another four. Yeah. <gasps> what was that all about? <laughs> did we li literally just flew? Yes, we did. Okay, that was a miracle. That was amazing. I was I was just surprised. Like, how are we? Like, if, at first I was like, "What is going on? Why are we flying?" But we just hit these uh, yellow things. That's why. Like those that we right now hit. Oh no! no. Come on! Lose grip! Don't lose grip! And you're not gonna crash into me, you bastard! And go forward. Yeah, this should be a fairly short race. Hope so. Oh, that was a beautiful turn. Yeah, the problem is the problem is that the sun is also shining right in our eyes, so we can't also really see up the track that much. Beautifully. That's a much better. 36 seconds, wow. Well done on that. And full on power. Or full on forward. Whatever you say. And some drifting around here. Do this all day long. Oh yes, 34 seconds. Damn. Like we're 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 literally getting a best lap time every second. Well, maybe not right now, because this is our last lap, and we just crashed, which we somehow recovered from. Okay, okay. Stop shining it right in my eyes, son. Don't do that. Oh no, 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 you're not gonna do that. And here and finish. Great, we finally completed our championship. And uh, wow, okay, that was an, a, uh, if you didn't a really nice race. race. You're used to strong emotions. Okay, well, that's a great thing to know because you already said that for two times. But okay, Nicholas Verland, champion winner. Good. Chicken, chicken. Or whatever it was, what was it again? Chicken, chi chicken, chicken, given dinner, or I don't know what I'm saying, but just, you know. We won, that's the only thing that matters, we got 120 stars, so this means we're good. That's all I'm gonna say, we're good, and now we can go into our special episode, and uh, I'm curious what, what kind of, what personality has this guy? Because he looks kind of interesting to race against. So well, let's go here and uh, cross country master. Let's take. A, let's go ahead and take a look at him. He was last season's revelation, and after what he has shown us, Justin Evans is one of the drivers to keep an eye on. So cheerful and easygoing in life, and so cold and ruthless at the wheel. If we know him well, the cross country master title is already getting a bit small for him, and he will be aiming straight for Sean Walker's crown this year. Okay, what an interesting guy. <laughs> so, here we have again three more races. So, uh, our first one is going to be an Alaska head-to-head -head race. So, uh, should be really fun to race against him. Ooh. Eight. <gasps> okay, find my favorite car. Let's go with the Toyota Hilux. Yes. 
Oh yes, this is going to be amazing. So let's go in our Toyota Helilux into our first race with the with the master, Justin. Friends and off-road fans, it's time to find out who the new cross-country master is going to be. Justin Evans is the reigning champion, and if we know him well, he has no intention whatsoever of giving anything up to his challenger. Will he manage to hold on, or will he lose his crown? One thing is sure, spectacle is guaranteed on Gravel Channel, and we'll be here to enjoy it with you. Oh, he's gonna lose everything, so uh... Yeah, the also the name is interesting. Alaska into the woods. Creepy. <laughs> okay, let's go. In the high looks. Also, the, look at the back of this thing. It looks interesting. It has like two fans on the back of it. And uh, that's a uh, start. You're going down. Look, we are already taking you over. That was an easy overtake. This Toyota Helix is crazy. Damn, you go fast. You go fast. Okay, so this is going to be a straightaway. Should be really easy to do. Nice little straight road. And it looks like we have our first turn. So our first obstacles. Oh, but he's getting close. These, all these houses, all these very tiny, small wooden houses in the middle of the woods. Very cute. Oh, where's the? Oh, the guy. <laughs> I think he crashed into something because now he's all the way, all the way in the back. He's really far from us. And we're going uphill. The champ, the, car, the champion car of going up hills. Oh, 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 well, not uh, turning, obviously. And slow down. Okay, almost 45% completion. We're almost halfway done with this race. Okay, slow down. Yeah, the brakes on this car are... Yeah, the, the brakes on this truck aren't really great. But uh, the speed and everything like that is really good. And that's the thing that I like about this car. That's also a plenty of horsepower. Which we are... With, that, that's... Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, we're going really fast. Climbing the uphill. Okay, where are we? Oh, I can see where are we right now. Oh, we're going into under the rocks. Oh no, it's a tunnel. Oh, kind of a tunnel. Oh, and this should be our last turn, and this should be straight. This should be a straight little dirt road. And then we're at the finish. Oh, we're gonna go really fast. Power! Aw, uh, tops out at 140 miles per hour. No! Let's go in first person. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. A little bit of a jump there, and... Drift! Kind of. <laughs> so, p first position on our first race. That's really good with the, ch yeah, with the, the champion guy. The first race guy. has just finished, but we still need two more rounds to award the cross-country master title, and anything could happen. Wanna know how... Well, basically anything could happen. So, uh, now, uh, we haven't really leveled up that much. So, let's go into our next race against Justin. I keep forgetting his name, but it's Justin Evans. Okay, so this time we're not gonna go over the Toyota Hel Hilux now. Uh, we're gonna switch it up a little bit this time. So, okay, we are back in the menu. So what is going to be our next race in the middle of a desert? That's going to be fun. <laughs> so, uh, what car should I go with now? I mean, the Nissan, Volkswagen, the Chevrolet Humber. I'm gonna go with the... Um, ASX, Mitsubishi ASX. I haven't really used that car before. We have used it, but not that much. 
Ooh, we also have a heat paint job of James. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with, with this paint job. Why not? Welcome to the second round of cross country master challenges to our friends watching out there. Justin Evans seems like he was really struggling in the first round, but the next race could change the situation on the track further. Here at Gravel Channel, we can't wait to see how it will all turn out. Stay with us, you won't regret it. Yeah, he was really struggling struggling in the last race, I can tell. He was seriously far behind us, behind our backs. So let's see if he can uh, redeem himself on this uh, specific race. Okay, that was a good start. And also, my FPS is much smoother. I like this. Like, every time when we are on, in the desert, like, our my FPS just, like, is much better. And that's a good thing. I want to race more in the desert than in the jungle or somewhere else. This is what this is what I like. The smoothness. And just fluidness. You can just enjoy the game. Like this. Okay, we're gonna catch up and get some speed. Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? What the heck? What 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 was that all about? We literally just did like multiple backflips like in one second. Oh really? Really game? Oh come on, that was totally unfair. Like, where did that jump come from? Like look at this, like how did we manage to do that? Okay, what well, game, really? You're really going to be doing this? Okay, you can stop, oh my god. Game, what was that all about? Okay, well, it looks like I have to restart this race. There's no way. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna restart this for sure, guys. Like, how? <laughs> uh, like, the track is, like, showing that I have to go, like, right forward. But then you just crash into, like, multiple trees and everything like that. Like, come on, game. Just, like, clarify me there's something in front of me. And, yeah. Okay, you know, at least we're gonna restart the race and uh, start all over again. Ah. Uh. That's so annoying. Okay, go back here. There's also no way that I could replay and just, you know, start all over again. Because then, it basically, I'm still going to jump out of the track. Somehow. Okay, well, how did he do this? Like, did he, like, go around, basically? Because he did. Okay, where is he going? Go ahead and do something like this. Okay, there you go. That's an improvement. So now we're in first place. Okay, this is good. so far this has been a really big adventure. And not a good adventure, let's just say that. Like this race right now. <laughs> the last one was good, but now I don't know what is happening. This way. Give me speed. Okay, 40% completion. These cars are not really meant for fast. They're not really the fastest vehicles, so. You know, it's gonna take us a little bit of time to finish this race. But we're at 50% completion, so. Almost there. Oh, we're at the the water tower. Oh no, it's not a water. What am I? We're at the lighthouse. What am I saying? Okay, well, that could also work. <laughs> I literally crashed into a rock and then <laughs> just crashed in the. Somehow we uh, did a little bit of a special trick. How to say? Going uphill. Helicopters also catching up. Move us up the hills. And go. Yeah, we're almost there at the finish. Just be relaxed. Take it easy. Such a relaxing song. Yeah. Take it easy. 
say? I mean, I'm not a really great singer, but... <laughs> I love that song. Actually, that song that, that I sing right now was... What was the name of it? What was the name of it? I think it was Take It Easy. And that was actually, as, as a kid, like, I was like six or seven years old. Seven years old or something like that. And that's actually my first favorite song of all time. Like, even when I was six or seven. Like, my mom was also, like, really surprised. Like, wow, is that really your favorite song? I'm like, yeah. I was, like, still, like, seven or seven, but still. That was an amazing song from back in the day. But okay, apart from that, we got in first position, and there's still one more race to do. And, uh, Now that the second yeah. race is finished, everyone's attention is... Okay, yeah, that's great. You can just say that. Ooh, we're level 37. We unlocked some more vehicles. Wow, there's so many vehicles in this game. It's just mind-blowing. Okay, so, go back into the menu and start up this last race against this guy, and I hope we can win this. <laughs> well, of course we're gonna win this, but not like this, like what we, what happened right now. Ooh. Just need to take a deep breath. <laughs> okay, so, oh, it's the same thing again, but uh, crossing, the layout is crossing. Okay. Uh, this time we're gonna go with the Renault Duster. I mean, I could go with the Volkswagen, but no. No, we're not gonna do that. Uh, ooh, we got a special paint shop for this car. Yeah, let's go with this one. To our friends watching out there, welcome to Gravel Channel. The third and final race of the series is about to start, which will reveal who is going to be the new cross-country master. Strong nerves are needed more than ever before in moments like these when racing for the win is so crucial. Sometimes you win or lose by the smallest of margins, but that margin can make an enormous difference. Put the kids to bed and glue yourself to the screen. Off-Road Masters is about to start. What, what did he say there? Put the kids in, in your bed? Whoa, that just sounds so wrong, man. Like, put your kids in bed. And watch, okay, you know, I'm not gonna think about it, but okay, that's a great start at the moment, and it's night time, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna have a great time, of course we are. The thing that I also like about this Renault Duster is, like, the taillights, the, the taillights, look at those, they're pretty cool, and, you know, to be, you know, they're not, they're really simple, they're, of course, really simple looking, but, uh, Still, for like a rally car, it yeah, looks cool. Okay, so it's dark. It's not one of the most nicest places to be at at night. Okay, beautiful. Oh, number jump. Come on, Renault. The French power. Give me something. Oh. Let's go. Oh, why are you following me? Come on, you can stop following me already. I know you're behind me. Okay, oh, he took a little bit of a shortcut. Get in my way. Oh my god, I can't see. I'm terrified. I'm officially terrified of this race. How are you still behind me? I can't see! Oh, there you go. I can see the track. Kind of. Oh, you have to go on this wall again? Oh, wall grind. Oh, he crashed! <gasps> yes! Oh, you're done. Yes. Should be a successful race again. Jump. Oh, oh, go back, go back, go back. Oh, I didn't so I didn't see those jumps. Okay, where's the tunnel? Okay, it's right here. Or the cave. Oh, jump. Jump like a bunny rabbit. Look at the moon. Oh, we have to, we have to turn. 
Oh, it's going to be a serious turn. Yes. And it's going to be a serious jump right now. Well, kind of. Wasn't really a big jump. Okay, guys. We're finally at our final moments of this race. Getting a lot of score. Which is good. 90%. Getting a lot of score from uh, from high speed. Can't, oh no, we had to turn this way. Oh, there's a finish line. Yes, finally. Oh, yes, we did it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just said that two times. Unbelievable. Who would have thought this was possible? In the end, Justin Evans must hand over his cross-country master title to the challenger. Next year, he will have to defend the title, but for now, let's leave him to enjoy his victory. Friends oh, and fans yes. watching out there, thanks for following us. Off-Road Masters continues. Okay, so we're going to go and proceed and, uh, of course, take that title with us. So uh, now, we are the Masters. Uh, we also won some vehicles and some liveries. But okay, we did it. We finally completed our champ our uh, special episode and we should unlock some new ones that we're going to check out right now before then yeah, we're going to check them out right now and then we're going to see what do we have here. So, here's a beautiful Renault that made us a uh, win and here it is. Uh so we have summer par uh, par oh, sorry, summer party, like it. Uh Midnight Stars, Driver on the Storm. And top classic. Wow, there's actually four events in this between here. And this is our final league against this guy. The season, the season finale. So, uh, yeah, guys. We're going to end off this very, very long video on Gravel. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It would be amazing if you would do that. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye.